Good morning and happy Sunday everybody. This is not my typical uh, food blog post. I try to do healthy stuff on my blog, but this one goes out to my daughters, Aspen and Alyssa, and, and Brandon as well, because they love a special treat of chocolate gravy and biscuits on the weekends, and my daughters, now that they've grown up and moved out of the house, want to know how to make it. So, I'm going to show you how to make chocolate gravy this morning, and then um, on my blog post, I will do the full recipe and everything. Um, basically, chocolate gravy is almost pure sugar. It is in no way healthy for you. It is... Um, uh, there's just nothing good you can say about it other than it's chocolate and it tastes absolutely yummy. Um, it has three basic dry ingredients. You've got your sugar, um, almost all sugar, flour, and um, cocoa. And what you do is you put all of your ingredients in your bowl and you're going to mix that up until it's all thoroughly mixed up. It's very simple. While I'm doing this, I have my biscuits in the oven cooking because this is a very quick um, breakfast to make. It's about the equivalent of giving your kids donuts. Okay, so now that I have got all of my dry ingredients here. Well, mixed up. Let's see if I can show you. There we go. It's all just mixed up in here, and I spill it out on the counter. Okay. So we're going to put this into the pan, the dry ingredients. What you're going to do from here is just kind of scoot it all to the side making a little hole in the middle of your pan and then you're going to take two tablespoons of butter and you're going to put it in that middle where you made the hole. And turn on your heat to medium heat and let that butter melt. Now, I think the longest amount of time we have to wait here is for our butter to melt. I like to cut it up into smaller pieces so it melts faster. Okay. I am going to check on my biscuits. So we have in our chocolate gravy flour, sugar, cocoa powder, and then you're going to use butter and milk. This morning I'm using almond milk because I'm out of 2% uh, milk was what Brandon usually uses. He's not ever going to know. Unless he watches this video, he'll never know it has almond milk in there. The hardest part for me in making chocolate gravy is not eating it afterwards. I love this stuff. But our butter is almost melted over here. And what you're going to do when your butter is all melted is you're just going to mix up that dry ingredients with your melted butter. And you want to get it thoroughly mixed up so that there is no more dry ingredients. I'm going to turn that up a little bit to medium high. Okay, so almost got this mixed up. 
So now you can see there it's just all the dry ingredients mixed with the butter. So you just kind of have a bunch of chocolate crumbles. And then I'm going to move it to the side again, making a little hole. And you're going to pour in your milk in the middle. And then you're just going to stir it up and kind of smash out the little chunks as you go. And you're just going to keep stirring this. And let it cook until it thickens up. Our biscuits are almost done. sugar clumps cleaned out. So I'm going to let that thicken up. Take out my biscuits. We are almost ready. take my biscuits and I always just do it in little pieces for my kids. Uh, they are perfectly capable of doing it themselves but I don't know I've always done this for them. Biscuits are a little hot. Ouch. Probably because they just came out of the oven. But us mommies are tough. So 